Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Play artist, right on dynamite. <laughs> Playing artist, right on dynamite. It's a- MP3 music search, only on Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles. Sync, say the word. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Mac Break Studio, and uh, I'm here with Steve, and you are going to show us things about panning and zooming. Panning and zooming. Ken Burns. We love Ken Burns. We do. We do a lot of panning and zooming on things, and motion yeah. control. It started out as motion control, didn't it? Camera on a rig, and... It used to be that way. You have little controls, and you push back and push right. in and everything else, but it's, it, then, then we moved to, you know, After Effects and everything else, and now we have a little plugin that's just done we, it for us. Uh, absolutely. There used to be lots of little keyframes. We used to be, you know... Oh, then you're going to love this plugin. This new plugin that came out from uh, FX Factory, it's free, and it does all of that Ken Burns stuff without keyframes. Oh, I like it. It's really sweet. Well, let's see right, it. Let's take a look. Okay, first of all, you need to install the... Uh, FX Factory uh-huh. you know, software. It's free. You've got to put that in. And then you've got to download the, the, the actual plugin itself. Or in this case, it's actually a generator. Right. And there's actually two flavors, a Pan and Zoom Accelerated and a Pan and Zoom Basic. So you may be asking, what's the difference? Well, yeah, what does the Basic do and what does the Accelerated do? Well, the do? Basic is used if you don't have you know, a lot of iron in your computer to really move around okay. big images. You want right. to use Basic. If you have a big image or maybe a computer is a little slower, you'll want to you'll, or computers use, a little faster. Exactly. Right? We like having fast computers. Exactly. So right. I'm, I'm going to go see, use basic to be on the safe side today. Okay. But um, what I'm going to do is just grab this, and I'm just going to drop it right in the timeline like that. You so you're just, dropping uh, it as its own? As a clip. As a clip. Okay. You can see it's a clip there. And right. notice what happens immediately in the canvas, you kind of get uh, an example. And let me talk about uh, what's happening here. You have these little frames, these blue frames. Those represent the camera. And basically, you have the one indicates the starting position, and the right. two indicates the ending position. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up by double clicking and going straight to the controls tab. Right? Okay. Right. And here is the actual plugin right here. Now what they're using is a placeholder image of a fish that's actually built. In, every Mac has a, a right. name, and that's right. and that's they, what they, it is. They're just pointing to that folder, yeah, exactly. right? So. Right now, it's set up for an animation, and but it's in setup mode. And I'm going to just go ahead and uncheck this little box okay. and just play it for it. So you can see that right in the canvas, just by pressing my space bar, there's my pan. No keyframe. Right. So it's a you know, kind of a preset. It's a nice little pan. It's a nice little pan. All right. But of course, we don't want to use fish in our particular uh, project. So we probably so we want to add our own. So what we want to do is we want to go over here. It says image path. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, we're going to go choose, and I'm going to go to the desktop. And let's see, and I'm going to get, uh, uh, this guy was the quarterback for uh I see, now, uh, you know, so, so, so when, now you see, no. when Mr. Martin here uh, <laughs> came, threw on his, uh, his, his jersey, I was kind of like, I don't understand. Now you understand. It now is it college football sense. season. Yeah, okay. All right. Yes. All right. So, uh, so, um, so I had this, uh, this picture of me and one of the uh, celebrated USC quarterbacks. But I only and, see you right now. And right now, exactly. So we're going to have to fix that. Okay, first okay. of all, I'm going to change a preset. Let's just do a, I don't know, a zoom, zoom out. out. Okay, so we set, oh, this is a, one of the things I found out about things. So you change a preset, it just dumps your image. Um, so you, you actually you have, have to decide. You have, you have to decide for, do. Yeah, I discovered that. It's, you know, there's a little bit of edge, little yeah, rough edges here. Yeah, there. exactly. That, that one's all right. Hopefully they'll fix it. Uh, the you get what you one. pay for. Oh, sorry. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, choose and go get that go get that image again. And let's see here. Second, okay. There we go. Now um, we got the image in, and we already have the preset pick. So I'm going to uh-huh. scroll down, and we're going to look at basically. There's um, in fact, let's put it back into setup setup mode. That's what we need to see it. So mm-hmm. you could see the first position. Yep. In the second position, you can't see because it's really the whole frame here. It's a blue box. Right. Okay. There's a start. So let's work with the first. Um, camera position. Right now, let's go ahead and play with the scale so I can set the framing right. for the, the start position. And I'm going to click the position button and then click inside the canvas and then click and move it around. Let's say I want to start, let's say right there. Oh, that's so cute. All right, isn't that cute? Mm-hmm. All right, so we start there. And then I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to select, and I notice this position two. That's the one we can't see. But notice as I adjust the size, Right. See, so maybe I want that's the framing I want to end on, and that's the, and the center of two is the one that's below it. Exactly. Okay. Now um, I'm going to scroll down here, and in terms of animation time, it's set for the duration of the clip, which is right. ten seconds. Mm-hmm. But that's way too long. So I'm going to choose duration in seconds, and right now it's set. Well, 
start time, well, it's like a hold. So you can say, I want it to hold for one or two seconds before it actually does anything. Right. Or in this case, I'm going to have the duration, I'm going to have it move, uh, well, let's say make it go at four seconds. So you could have a clip that's 10 seconds long. Correct. But have the, the transition. So the start time is, okay, wait. For, Wait, and, and, and we assume the end time is whatever's left in the clip. It's whatever's left in the clip, exactly. Okay, okay, got it. Right, so you have a lot of control here. Okay, so I have the duration here. Uh -huh. Now, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run this. And the, the way you run it is just turn off setup mode when you're done. Put the play at the beginning, and I'm going to hit the space bar. And so there's essentially three seconds. Nice. Nice, huh? That's great. Yeah, a couple, uh, couple of variations on a theme here. Um, I'm going to go back into... And so, if you did a lot of transitions between things... You could just kind of cut and paste this, and then and then add that the new image in, kind of move the thing around. Sure, there's no the reason. Same speed. Exactly. There's no reason why you can't co you, copy and paste. It. When you change this preset, does it change everything below it too? Yes. Okay. Yes. So um, there's again a couple of little things I'm not crazy about, but I mean mm -hmm. I'm more than happy with what it does without Absolutely. any keyframes at all. Yep. Um, the other thing is I'm going to go ahead and uh, just make a slight variation. I'm going to go ahead and put it back into setup mode, and I'm going to do on the second camera. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to just change like. The rotation of the camera. So I'm going to just grab this a little bit. So it wow. actually, so I'll just do that and then go up here, turn back on, turn off setup, and play this again from the beginning. And oh, oh isn't so it sweet? Cute. The two of you together. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and oh, uh, now you can see like some of the background is being revealed here in the corner. Uh -huh. Oh, well, we can fix that too. If you, uh, you have, let's say, draw background. And then you can go in here and sample a color. And of course, I've got to sample, right. you know, the jersey. So now I've kind of, so basically now I have uh, up in the corners here. Mm -hmm. I now or you have, could possibly I, I can sample that little I area could sample there. a little area and right. And, and it, it would you, just kind of fade exactly, out. Exactly, it would totally fade out. Right. And then also in terms of animation curve, you have to explain this to me. They call it quadratic. I have no idea what quadratic. The, it's the basically easy. Over it's four points. It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Easy and so ease out. Right. Depends on but, how many points it's using. Exactly. So it's quadratic. Yeah. And so there you have it. So a nice little plugin, free. Yeah, and, and uh, it does motion blur work. Uh, yeah, it it works. He I, says that gingerly. Uh, well, you know what? Let's put the. I haven't tried it. I just saw their <laughs> demo. It looks like it works. Right, and a lot of times you're not using motion blur for a lot of these things. Right, exactly. So, it's, what do you think of the plugin? I think it looks great, and especially for the money. I mean, it's a must have. It is a must have. <laughs> exactly. No, this is great. I mean, there's so many times, and we use a lot of these zoom in, zoom outs for training. Right. Uh, you know, where we want to have a little more control. You know, um, but. But not much more than that. I mean, we just want to know where we're going to put it. You know, right. There's other programs that do all of this, but we want to keep it in Final Cut where we're doing all our editing. Sure. You know, and so it's great to just be able to do it in Final Cut, throw those those transitions in and out. I, I could totally see us using this for documentaries and and for a lot of other things. That you I think it's great, and then no keyframes, which I, I love. I, and and oh, by the way, you can you can keyframe it. You can override it. There's a pop up here that says manual, and then as soon as you put it into manual mode, you can actually go in and keyframe all the so parameters you, I just so, showed you. So if you, you want to do it, that you way, can keyframe it. And especially a lot of the scaling stuff in. In, in Final Cut can be a little cumbersome, you know, and so it's easier in motion, but but then you have to go to motion to do it. Right. Uh, being able to do it all in Final Cut, I think, makes a lot of sense. I do. I think it's a great plugin. Steve Martin, where can people find more of your stuff? Well, they can find it at Pixel Core, for one, the MacBreak Studio. <laughs> and the other place is Rebel Training, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks, Alex. Good to be here. And thank you for watching Mac Break Studio. Play artist, right on dynamite. <laughs> Playing artist, right on dynamite. MP3 music search, just one of the many voice activated features from Sync, only on Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles. Sync, say the word.